So lifestyle changes can play a major role in bipolar disorder. Perhaps not on the first go-round. The first go-round generally pops up and needs to be treated with medications, but after that, lifestyle changes, especially uh, eating differently, uh, taking uh, supplements such as omega-3 or eating more fish, exercising more appropriately, and especially developing good sleep habits can go a long way in stabilizing one's mood and preventing the development of either high or low episodes. So lifestyle changes can be extremely uh, important. Uh, Tom Wooten in his book uh, uh, on bipolar, books on bipolar disorder found on this website, talks a lot about lifestyle changes and I'm a big believer that they can go a long way to help. Also, education uh, of oneself and one's family can, can go a long, long way in helping a person suffering from bipolar disorder. And that involves the patient educating themselves, but also the family, the support system, if it's not uh, uh, close family members, can be of critical importance. Because when patients start to get on the high end, they may feel so good, the first thing they do is stop their medication. And, and their condition worsens significantly and they don't even realize. They think, oh, I'm out of that depression. I'm feeling great. I'm getting so much done. I'm writing more papers. I'm, I'm uh, doing more creative work. I don't need as much sleep. They think they're doing fine and in the process can do great damage to their illness itself and to their own condition. So I think it's critically important that we deal uh, with the families and that they understand. As a physician, sometimes the family member can be invaluable to me. They call me up and they say, your patient's getting high again. Now, if I don't have permission to talk to that family member, that becomes a real problem. Uh, so, one of the things I do in the treatment of the bipolar patient is I get them to allow me to talk to somebody who can be the observer and reporter for that patient if need be. But if the patient's family or support system doesn't understand bipolar disorder, they can't be of much value to the patient or uh, to me as a physician and in fact may worsen the person's condition by supporting their manic or hypomanic uh, episodes in an inappropriate way. So education of the patient and education of the family can be an important part of the treatment of their condition.